Hello guys. Yeah, she's sleeping at my hands because she's, you know, because I've bribed her to sit up and say hello. You can say hello to the camera, Nina. Can you say hello? No, no, you got a scavenge. All right then. Well, this is me. <laughs> this is my partner, Nina. She has been my partner for four years now. Four to five years, haven't you, Nina? Uh, Nina's favourite time is Christmas. Uh, she doesn't like Halloween, but she doesn't really like all the bright lights and the flashy things. So she doesn't, you don't really like fireworks night, do you, Nina? No, you're not a fan of fireworks night, no, no. So I thought that I would get up on here with my gorgeous golden partnership just to talk about the realities of ha having a guide dog and talk about the realities of owning a guide dog during COVID. For those of you on Facebook, you may or may not know that there's lots of posts going around about please continue the social distancing even when you see a guide dog, okay? And it is true, only a guide dog can be very difficult because people want to walk straight up to you and cuddle the dog. You know, I get the temptation. I, I had the temptation even before I owned a guide dog. I was guilty of this. Still am at times. I have to pull myself back. But, you know, for me personally, in Durham, they are fabulous with guide dogs with any dogs because they own a dog and because they really do recognize a guide dog as a true symbol of someone who is normally totally blind they do respect still respect the need to socially distance so much so that i have more often seen people on my way to my social bubble back when we were allowed to go to our little um you know our our bubbles, you know, our, I forgot what the word is now, our, you know, comfort bubbles, as it were, um, the people who are closest to us. People deliberately got off the path when they saw me. And, I, you know, in order to social distance from me. So there I am with a mask, walking down the street with Nina, and people with their families and the kids have actually got off the path to let me pass socially distances. distanced. That is how fabulous owning a guide dog in COVID actually is for me personally. Obviously, as ever, I cannot speak for guide, guide dog owners. Um, you know, I don't know the, the, the stats on this, but I'm absolutely loving owning a guide dog even through COVID, where we have so much less opportunity to go out these days. And I think that's mainly because if you are a true guide dog owner rather than a, a cane owner or you know cane lover as it were, I'm not saying that I don't love the cane, I do love the cane, the cane is a fabulous invention. But a guide dog just makes it makes life more social. People want to talk to you, even socially distanced. They will ask you the question, even standing there with a face mask on, they will ask you the question about your dog. How old is your dog? How long have you had your dog? What's your dog's name? Um, what are the rules on guide dogs these days? When do they retire? You know, <laughs> simple questions like that are always asked. Um, I tend to approach this with a great amount of joy because it does make me feel good because it makes me feel like I'm part of the social community because people will talk to me. You know, when you have a cane, people are aversive because they know that you're blind and that you won't necessarily stop, but they're also aversive because they're more scared of getting hit by a cane. They're less scared of the dog. And it, you know, it depends on the society you're in, really. It really does depend a, a lot upon the society you're in as to whether that will work or not. But I'm absolutely loving owning a guide dog because of the companionship aspect. 
you've got to really really love answering the questions and having people ask you them you've got to really love being able to go outside with your dog and my dog has been having so many free runs it's been incredible but I've kind of got a routine now with her you know so just to stem the boredom of shielding all the time and I do take her out for a free run which you will see on the clips that I will show you um, you know <laughs> at the end of this little section but it has really upped my confidence owning a guide dog a lot more than I thought it would when I had a cane in God's honest truth I think the guide dog is for people with a lot less confidence and the reason why I think that please don't hate me guys the reason why I think that is because you are looking after someone other than yourself which just bumps up your confidence you know you feel more independent you feel more capable when you're looking after someone other than yourself and I absolutely love my guide dog I love having her I love taking her out for free runs as you can see and you know if you want to watch any more videos with a guide dog in them then you know feel free to subscribe to my channel and watch the videos that you see that you're interested in and please share my channel with people that you think would be interested in my content because it really really does mean a lot to me when people share so i hope that you enjoyed this from a professional guide dog speaker and um, i really hope you have the best of times socially distancing or you know i, I just wish you luck in life basically see you later bye bye you are you there <gasps> good girl who's my fluffy bum right should we get a big treat out for a girl that comes back when mummy calls it was a lovely doggy eh nina so this is where we usually have a free run it's nice it's lovely <laughs> and people are